Hi YouTube, it's Nick, Natural Soleil, and I just wanted to come really quickly and show you guys my twists. I don't know if you can really see them, I'll try to turn around. Hopefully the camera's capturing them. You'll see that I did um, the banana clip, but I did it on an angle, so I was trying to be a little bit funky. But um, you might be saying to yourself, okay, why are you coming on to talk about your mini twists when you are always talking about wearing your hair in mini twists? And if you watch my natural hair journey videos, you'll see that um, the majority of the time my hair is in mini twists. But I had to come on and tell you guys about these mini twists because these took me six hours. Regularly, mini twists take me about nine to ten hours. And I would say on average 10 hours, um, including like just the parting and all that stuff. I used to part my rows, like um, horizontally. I wouldn't part them uh, vertically, but I would part them horizontally because I always thought like, you know, if you wanted to wear your hair in an updo um, in the middle and then have it back down, it would be crooked. And so I always parted. And I would take each of my products. I twist with uh, Darcy's Botanicals, Avocado, and Honey Twisting Cream amazing amazing moisturizer uh, Jamaican black castor oil which is my favorite oil and uh, Jane Carter's Nourish and Shine and I think the combination of those three products um, is amazing for my hair so I would take the avocado and honey twisting cream apply that to a section then I take the Jamaican black castor oil apply that to the end you know towards the ends the middle to the ends and then I would take the Jane Carter's Nourish and Shine and put it on the ends of my hair and then I would take each twist and repeat for every single twist that I put into my head. So you can imagine why it was taking me 10 hours to put these twists in. I thought there was no other way. So at a certain point, I got sick of them. And I was like, look, I love these things, but they're taking up my entire day. Like once I started around, I think two o'clock or one o'clock in the afternoon, and I didn't finish until midnight. And that was ridiculous. That's the last time I was like, you know what? I'm not doing these twists yet. again. I'm gonna stick to medium twists, sorry, medium sized twists for a while. So I tried to do my medium sized twists and I liked them and I would keep them for about a week, week and a half. And um, I did about two sets, three sets of those and I started to miss my mini twists. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bite the bullet and sit around for 10 hours. I gotta put these twists back in. I really missed them. And right when I was about to do that, okay, I was gonna sit down for my 10 hour ordeal. I watched African Hair God's video. And if you are not subscribed to him, you should definitely subscribe because he is hilarious and I love his videos. Um, but he also does mini twists a lot. And so he had the same frustrations that I had, which were, you know, they're awesome, but they take so long to put in. And then when you keep them for so long, you have like a two hour takedown sometimes. So you're spending like 13 hours on one hairstyle. That's ridiculous. Like that's 13 hours that you could be living life, right? So he was like, I'm done with them too. And then all of a sudden he did his video and he came out with these mini twists. And I was like, wait a minute. I thought he was, you know, had signed them off or whatever. I guess he bit the bullet too. And he said that his mini twists took him six hours. And I was like, no way. Because they were mini twists, they looked great. And so he broke down how he did it, and which was he just pulled sections of hair and um, he had moisturized his hair from the night before and didn't add any moisturizer uh, while he twisted. So he didn't do it to each twist because he would also do that add each add moisturizer to each twist so I was like oh my gosh what a concept so let me tell you what I did differently so in addition to what he did I added all of my I mixed all my products together into one so there was no more let me take the the twisting cream okay now let me take the oil okay now let me take the butter it was let me mix them all up and I used um, Shea Moisture's deep conditioner um, it's amazing I, I love that deep conditioner. I love it as a deep conditioner, but I love it as a twisting cream as well as a moisturizer. So I took that, I mixed in some um, the Jamaican black castor oil um, and some Jane Carter's Nourish and Shine. I also put in some coconut gel from my Honey Child. I do not recommend it. I'm just trying to get rid of it. First, I'm a little bit of hold, but it really doesn't add any hold, at least for my hair type. And I mix it all together, so that saved me time there. And then I just took my hair and I put it in twists, like seven twists, big twists, and I just pulled and twisted per section. I thought it wouldn't work out, but it did. Like every time it creates a section, even if it feels uneven, you will know it. And so I was parting horizontally with my fingers so I can still feel it out, um, that it was sort of straight. And it just it just worked out throughout my entire head. I, it, 
take so much time. It shaved off like four hours from my regular routine. That's bananas to me. So I'm, I'm a big fan again. Now my mini twists are taking me like six, seven hours. And with this technique, you know, I mentioned the African hair god, he didn't moisturize his hair again after he'd done it the night before. I, you guys, you see my cat in the back. <laughs> really? Okay. So he didn't moisturize again, but I, I did. And I think that that added to my time. I think next time I won't do that. And what I'll do is I'll apply those products at the end because I had excess of those products. And what I ended up doing was I just sort of raked them through my hair at the end and my hair um, took on a sheen that it didn't have prior to me doing that. And so I didn't feel like I didn't have to add it even through the sections. I could have just gone through it and then um, did it at the end. So that would probably even save me even more time. So I'm gonna try it that way. So I had to come on and share with you guys I'm just so happy. Mini twists are my go-to style. You guys know that I love them. I think that I, I just love them. So the fact now that I can do them in less than, well, four hours less than what I'm used to, amazing. And when I cut out the extra moisturizing, probably, it's going to probably be even less, even uh, a shorter time than that. So I'm happy about that. So I had to come and share with you guys. This is um, about a week old. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm trying to come as close as I can. Um, and I redo, I'm going to redo the perimeter, um, and I tend to do that around two to, um, well, one and a half to two weeks in, so I'll probably do that then, and, but it looks really, really good. What I add to the ends, like, I don't know if you guys can see, like, how they're curling up, but I add, um, Darcy's Botanicals Daily Leave-In, or sometimes Kinky Curly. I'm not a fan of Kinky Curly, but I will add it to make the ends, you know, pop a little bit like that. Okay. Um, and that's really it. I think he's back. So what I think I'm going to do with my next video is I have a friend who just told me like three days ago that she was going natural. Woohoo! Team natural. Team natural. Um, and I'm so excited and she had tons of transition questions and you know she thought that it would be a really good idea for me to do a transition video since I transitioned for you no know, a pretty long time. So I told her I would do one right after I told everyone about my fantabulous mini twist, and I will do that. Um, so if there's anything that you think transitioners might want to hear about or, you know, just topics, leave them in the comments below so that at least I have an idea and I can sort of make the, I can tailor the video around that. But that is it for me. Um, if you have any questions about my mini twist or about the transition, the next transition video that I'm trying to do, let me know. And I'm going to leave you guys with a special clip. You guys know that I just said that I went to Barbados, and that's why I really put these in, right? Because I wanted to put in my mini twist and not have to deal with my loose hair down in Barbados because I've dealt with it and mm, it's annoying. Um, and I went down there, so I thought what would be really cool is if I just showed you some little clips of Barbados. Because I always think it's cool when people go places that I've never been um, or even that I've been and I haven't been able to see that part of it and they show the video. So anyway, I hope you enjoy and um, I hope your day was filled with tons of soleil. I'll talk with you guys later. Peace out, y'all. Two fingers sideways. <laughs>
One say blue sky, the other say is. Look at this, blue skies on the left. Torrential. Torrential downpour is about to happen <laughs> on the right. That's Barbados. <laughs> okay, talk to you guys soon.